Hi guys, I'm Hannah from Elf Store Cardiff and we are going to be creating the retro romance look today. So I'll be talking you through exactly how to create this look step by step, but first I'm going to cleanse my hands. So we've got a beautiful model here today. So she's going to be modelling for me today um, our retro romance look. So I'm going to start off with making sure her skin's moisturised. So I'm using our Daily Moisture Stick. It's fantastic because it's got moisturising properties to it. It's great because it's antioxidant as well. And it's really easy for those ladies on the go because you can just pop it all over. So if you place it down your T-zone and gently outwards. So always concentrate on the centre and working out. And with clean hands, just gently sweep all over the skin. And because we're creating a look for the evening, it's always better to use colour on the eyes first and then do the complexion. So I'm going to be starting off with our Essentials product in Champagne Eyelid Primer. It's a, it's a very much a must in my, in my case. So using your fingertip, so the ring finger, because there's hardly any pressure coming from that, you just sweep gently all over the lid. And making sure to go right in to the eye socket there because you want to make sure that you're getting great coverage and high impact with the product and in my case it's a crime not to prime okay because that's going to give you a little bit of glow as well underneath the eye area especially if you're worried about dark circles puffiness and even skin tone okay so Got our base down, eyeshadow primer, and then I'm going to be using Cowgirl in the Glitter eyeshadow range from our Essentials. Priced at £2.50, really a bargain. I'm going to be using the contour brush and I'm just gently patting in. Close your eye for me. And I'm placing it in the eye socket. If you're not quite sure where to place it, you can keep your eyes open in order to make sure that you're getting it in the right area. So you can see I'm just creating that C shape and I'm using the contour brush. So this is really key because it's quite a nice flat rounded brush. Just to make sure you get that right shape. So I'm just repeating that on the other side. Do you want to close your eye for me? And open. And this is just to make sure then that you're getting it in the right area. You're not blending anything yet. You just want to block the color in. You blend afterwards. I'm then going to be using from our studio range, the matte in chestnut. It should be literally directly underneath it, but it's almost like you're creating like a rainbow. And this is what you're doing, you're creating depth and contouring the eye using the contour brush. Next step, I'm just going to be using a bit of the glitter and that's Night Owl in the Essentials range again. So it's an eyeshadow glitter. Same brush. And if you notice, I'm just again creating that rainbow effect, but just along the lash line. Always just gently patting onto the eye. Because you want the primer to be doing the work. So it'll grab onto the product, lock in the colour, and express the pigment as high as it can do. Now, I'm going to create some highlights here. So I'm going to create some highlights on the brow bone, just in the socket here, area here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a contour, flat contour brush in order to blend all that through, in order to make a unique finish on the skin so it looks really flush around the eye area. So this is one of my favorites. I love it. It's the Shimmer Palette. I don't think it gets used enough, but it's what I would call a layering tool. So you wouldn't use it like you could use it on its own, but I would say you would use it under products or over the top to enhance um, or highlight. And then it comes with a little brush inside. I don't know, I think this is the one. Yep, this is the little brush. This is really easy to use. So you can actually judge it on what colors you're wearing. So I'm gonna go for the more golden. I 
And again, just the rainbow effect. So nice and easy, you don't do any blending yet. And then I'm just going to be literally using the slightly lighter tone, which is directly underneath. Then I'm going to use my contour brush once again. Go back to the cowgirl. Gently blend in. Not too much. Close your eye. And then I'm using the angled contour brush. Absolutely love this for blending. So it does all the work for you. You don't have to get worried about all the colours not mixing. Roll in the brush. You're just doing like a sweep effect. Now I'm going to be using the small smudge brush. and from the matte collection of eyeshadows in our studio range. The darkest black. Look all the way up for me. This is going to go along the lash line, so what you want to do is you want to create like a line and really press it into the lash line. This is really good as well, um, the pigment and the brush, because even if you wear contacts, it doesn't irritate the eyes. Look up again for me. Now, I'm going to make some dust because I'm going to show you why I don't do the makeup foundation base beforehand. And close. And again, just blending it directly into the lash line. You can also use your own fingertip to lift your lid and you can get right in from underneath. And if you have that need to blink, you don't blink. Just using the angled brush, close your eye for me. Okay, so I'm smudging all this in, as you can see, but that's why you don't do your makeup, your foundation base beforehand, because if you've got that situation going on, thinking, oh my God, I've got to go out, you want to be able to take it off. Yeah, so I'm going to use eye makeup remover pen. Now this has got cucumber and aloe in there, so it's really good to soothe and hydrate as well if you're a lady on the go. But again, it just takes it away. And I love it because it's really hydrating and cooling at the same time. So once you've cleared up your mistakes, you can just go back in using your ring finger. And again, just highlight. And this really helps with contouring as well. Okay, now we're moving on to complexion perfection. Um, my favourite thing in the whole world is making the skin look flawless, poreless and airbrushed. So I'm going to be using the Mineral Infused Primer and Charlotte here has got like a touch of uneven skin tone, suffers a little bit sometimes down the T-zone with a little bit of shininess. So pre to prevent that, I'm going to be using the green primer today because this is going to lift, illuminate, lighten, brighten and tighten the skin. And it's the green tone because Charlotte's explained down a T-zone, it sometimes is a bit uneven and her skin is high colour as well, so it'll just colour balance out. You're just sweeping from the inside out and instantly you can see that it almost mattifies the skin. But it's also a treatment, so you've got multivitamins in there. Safe enough to use over the lips as well. 
and it's just sweeping over the skin. It's really nice to just take the time for yourself as well, just to think, right, I'm getting prepared to go out. Bit of me time. Have a little feel. Baby soft. Then I'm going to be using our HD product. This is amazing. Um, it's really good for absorbing excess oils throughout the day. You can get a full or medium coverage depending on the brush that you use. The girls and I have become a little bit obsessed with the powder brush. It's actually our best selling brush at the moment. Um, and then second to that would be the stipple brush. You'd use this brush if you want like a fuller coverage. And would you use more of this brush if you just want to sweep um, action on the skin, so more of a sheer to medium coverage, so more of a natural day look. But because we're going out, we're going to be using the powder brush today. So with this, it's a really good tip actually when you're applying it, is that you stipple onto the skin to give you the best coverage. And this way you get into all the areas that concern you. And you can just see instantly because you've primed before you put your makeup on, it just gives it that setting power. It's almost like priming the walls before you paint them. You want to have that flawless finish. If you do it this way as well, it doesn't feel like you've got so much on, does it? It feels really light on the skin. Yeah, it feels really light and not so full coverage, even though you are getting that full coverage from the product. Pop your heads this way for me, thank you. So again, just stipple in until you're ready and happy with the finished effect. Just double checking yourself all the time. So again, just using a little bit of this just here on the brow bone as well. So it's the same one from the shimmer kit that I'm using. Just using it through the brow. And then when you do put your eyeshadow um, brow setting powder on, it just looks so much framed, so much more framed. And your hands are the best tools that you could use really. If you're unsure with anything or you want to smudge. So I'm using it again on the brow bone, um, on the cheekbone, sorry. Look, look, your skin's amazing. Concealer, love this. It's got um, mirror pigments inside, so it's also treatment. You've got vitamins A and E in there. So you can mix it, or you can use it alone like a highlighter. I'm gonna be mixing it in with the concealer. So I'm just using half and half method. And I like to create what I call the heart. So it's like you know that you've got the right amount. Mix the two together with one finger and then blend using your ring finger again because there's no pressure. Look up for me. Always pat and never drag and you don't want to stretch the skin. You want to enjoy yourself when you're putting your makeup on, not feel like you're in a rush. Fabulous. Okay, so I'm using Mary Berry from our studio uh, blusher range. It's a great pigment. You don't need a lot. Literally, you don't need a lot, as you can see when I use it with that. So before you set any of your makeup, you need to make sure that you're blending. So the best way I always say is smile. And then you know that this is where you should be aiming. And you just sweep up. So almost like a tick to give you that rosy cheeked effect. Flush of blush is what I always say. That's what my grandmother's always said anyway. Flush of brush. Using the blush of brush again. Close your eye for me. Always pop a little bit on the brow bone as well. And this just gives you a little bit more of a sexy look. Then I am going to be setting your eye makeup using HD. Look all the way up for me. 
So when you think, oh my God, her eyes look amazing, she doesn't look like she's got any dark circles or anything, it is because of a product like this. So it's got mirror pigments in there, light reflecting technology. So the light bounces off as opposed to absorbing. And again, just using the Flawless Concealer Finish Brush. And if I show you the product on the brush, it literally, you can see it sparkling. Look up for me. And it's translucent, so it's for any skin tone. And then I'm using the large stipple brush with the HD clear powder. And this is just perfecting the skin tone then. And because it's a light brush, you're just dusting the product on. You're just sweeping it over the face. And this will make sure that your makeup stays on all day and night. Beautiful. So that's now set. So all I need to do now is just frame the eyebrows, apply the lashes, and then I'll put the eyeliner on afterwards. Um, and this is really important because you don't want to be left with like the eyelash line that you can sometimes have when you put them on because there's always a gap that's missing on the centre where the tear duct is. So I am just going to take the lashes. It's always a good idea to just double check the lashes before you put them on that they're the right size for your eye. And I'm using some glue. Now it's really important when you're using this glue that you wait about 30 seconds for it to become just a little bit tacky because it is adhesive. Always making sure that you get plenty on each end especially. This is the area that sometimes do the pinging. So you want to make sure you want to prevent that. You just keep your eyes closed to me, Charlotte, okay? So, whilst Charlotte's got her eyes closed and we're waiting for the lashes to set, um, we're going to be using the small angled brush along with using the cowgirl that we used to begin with. And we're just going to use this through her brows. And I like it with a bit of sparkle, a bit of glam. And it just ties in with the look then. Great way to make sure that you're getting the right shape for your brows. If you use your nose and the brush itself, so that's where your brow should start. And that is where your brow should finish. You're using the end of your eye and your nose. And that's perfect then. You know that that's the right length of the eyebrow. Just using our brow comb and brush just to make sure that they're in the correct direction, all the brows, brow hairs. Um, now I'm going to use some mascara, our mineral infused mascara. So again, infused with multi multivitamins as well. Look up for me. So I always press and pull, press and pull down. And comb brushes are usually best as well when you're using false lashes. And that's purely because it's going to help to separate and define the lashes and gather your lashes with the false lashes together. Okay, before I put mascara on the top lashes, I'm just going to put some eyeliner just over the top. And I'm using the precision liner. This is my favorite, okay? precision liquid but it stays wet for ages which I love so it means that you can get a really clean angle right with it 
create nice little flicks with it. It's just a really easy brush to use. If you see, that's the correct angle for the shape of your eye then. So again, going back in with the eye makeup remover pen. So that way when you're looking at the eye, put your head that way, the brow and the eye line meet together so it's almost like uniform. Open your eyes. Okay, then I'm just gonna put the Using the pen again, if you look over there for me, just in where the tear duct is, and look at me and my nose. Perfect. So lashes just on the top, top coat of the lashes now. So just look down. And again. Beautiful. All that's left to do now is the lips. So, I'm going to be using Lip Plump and Prime. So, I'm going to be priming the lips first. All right. So, this goes all over the lips. This neutralizes the lip color and creates a great base. Priming the lips, ready for the lip liner and lipstick. So we're using the red lip liner. This has got two sides to this brush. Um, so you've got the lip liner side, which is automatic, and then you've got the lip brush side. Lip brushes are really important when you're applying lipstick because you get a really even base for the lipstick. So I'm just gonna use the lip liner first on Charlotte's lips here. Basically outlining the cupid's bow. And we've gone for the same tone as the dress. Beautiful Cupid's bow. And I, if you can see, I'm putting the colour all the way through, so I'm feathering the colour. So this is also going to help to create some depth with the lip shape. Always go from the corner up, because that way you get lift, so you don't look like you've got sad lips, you've got happy lips. <laughs> so this is red carpet. Um, this is from our moisturising lipstick collection from the studio range um, and I'm basically going to be using the lip brush from the lip lining pen um, to apply the lipstick with. The last look to be created is going to be now using the lip plumper on the other side of the lip primer that we used before. Um, this is great because it contains cinnamon so it's going to help to plump and hydrate the lips as well. So I'm just going to use that on one side. Just gently dab in, have a little, smells nice doesn't it? And then again, just using my favourite tool, the Shimmer Highlighting Kit, using the pink tone from this, just to frame, give it that Hollywood glamour. Touch of Hollywood glamour. So this is completing Charlotte's um, retro romance look. I hope you agree it's a beautiful look today. Um, also matching the outfit really well and hopefully she'll have a fantastic evening this evening. Um, and if we just take a look in a second now of what Charlotte's hair is going to look like with the rollers out.